get a call. So you're, you're yourself employed if you have to do yeah. welding. Yeah. Well, I, I'm but so that was glad like I got your phone number. You'll know me, Curtis. If I call, you'll know me. It's a little nice GTO. Beautiful. I think it's 69. Is anybody know Pontiacs? What's that? Anybody know Pontiacs? What about What year is this GTO? 68. 68? I call it 69, but I'm always a year off. Look at the ignition switch. What the hell? Yeah, the And also the turn signal. You think I'm a Pontiac man? No. <laughs> I, I wasn't either. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. <laughs> well, that was a tricky car because the tack, the wing, the interior, it's all 69. Is this your car too? Yeah. Oh, right on. You got a pair of beautiful cars. Oh, thanks. And I like Pontiacs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Pontiac guy either. I tell you, that motor was not the funnest. It's a 400, 76. 400. Yeah, I didn't get your name. That guy was talking to you too much. Oh, Brian. Brian, hey, I'm Mike, Gearhead Live. Nice to meet you, Mike. My card. Oh. All right, there you go. Oh, there I it is. It. Oh, cool. So, Brian and his friend... Shane. Shane? Yeah. yeah. Straight He's trying to hide from me. Yeah. So, how long... I'm oh, sorry. What if I intrude? No, go right ahead. Uh, so, how long have you had the El Camino? Uh, I've had it about uh, five and a half years, I guess. How did it start out? Uh, Just like not, this. Not, not a bolt on it. <laughs> exactly. All like these this. parts were in the back. <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, pretty much a bucket of bolts. Uh, no, you know, not painted, no engine in it. The uh, suspension was just hanging there. Right. And, uh, yeah, it's actually somebody owed me a little bit of money and they didn't, couldn't pay me, so they gave me the gave me the car and I started working on it. So how long did it take? I built this car and that car in four months. What? What are you, a fuse? By myself. Are you a fuse? <laughs> no. no. You watch a lot of fuse? <laughs> uh, no, I love fuse, man. He's the man. But no, I just did do it for fun, so I just got into it and started collecting parts, you know, and then once I had it all together, when it's painted, then it goes together pretty quick when you got all your stuff ready to go. So. Right on. It's a good yeah. time. Yeah. Well, I myself am an El Camino guy. There's my, yeah. there's my blue one over there. Oh, sweet. It's an 84. With the phony rims on it? It's, uh, what are you phony? <laughs> <laughs> what are, I can't see it. What are, are you, <laughs> you, you gotta be a, you're a Mopar guy, aren't you? Uh, no way. <laughs> D28 wheels? That's a D28 oh, wheels, like off of 70 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool well, I'll have you know, it's off of 79 Z28. Yeah, okay. And if you don't look at the steering wheel, it's also off of 79 Z28. 
Because it was my X79 Z20 that he came off of. <laughs> yeah. If you want to know the custom parts that work on that, I've had about six of those things. <laughs> Get a Trans Am Firebird steering wheel. They look cool for that same era. My brother used to work at PMT at the Van Nuys plant. Yeah. And I had one on there for a while. <laughs> no, I had it on my 79 Camaro, the Z28. Yeah. But I lost that car, so I put the steering wheel on that one. Those are those those uh, Alpinos are are pretty neat. I like that style. Full frame, so you know you gotta love it. What's your name? I'm Bob. Hey Bob. I'm Mike. Gearhead Live. And who's this guy? That is Steve. Hey Steve. Sit, Steve. Sit. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. He's an odd combination of uh, canine, isn't he? Uh, he's a purebred chow, golden retriever, and German shepherd, kind of like one dog. That's pure. <laughs> yeah, lots of papers. <laughs> but see, if you really want to be a, a Chevy gearhead, you you got to have some with a supercharger on it. Bob, <laughs> I need some money first. <laughs> you got the camera. Well, maybe I'll parlay myself into uh, fame and fortune. <laughs> now, those El Caminos there, uh, that was my favorite, one of my favorite ones. The, the 68 or 78 to 87. Right. Well, it's going to be the next hot rod because uh, everything else is disappearing. So you can put some serious motors in there. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, they're neat. You know, my plan or my goal or my wish is to make it into a Grand Am. That is a factory Buick V6 in that engine, in that car. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah, I was I surprised when I first saw it. But it was a bucket of bolts too. Not a bucket of bolts, but it was, uh, it was pretty ratty. So I put my the rims I had in the closet, <laughs> put them on the car, and no, the stair wheel, look, and there you go. Paint pretty, job. No, they look pretty good. They look really good. I was looking at it. No, just yeah, well, it's, it, it needs more work, but, uh, hey, Bob, it's great talking to you. Take it easy, man. What are you guys talking about now? He was just asking the price. Right. He's got the for sale sign on it. Well, yeah, how much is this? Uh, he's asking 25000 <laughs> 25 I got 25 right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, it's worth it. Oh, yeah. It's a turnkey, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> 25, there you go. Put a deposit down. Otherwise, I would have to go to Texas and Oklahoma. I wanted to see how they... How they clear it out. Yeah, they're dustable, too. Yeah, you have to... Get a big pair of channel locks? Or yeah. Bend them down I use those ones, those step ones, big ass. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I got the Harbor yeah. Freight cheapies. They're about oh, yeah. this long. Well, let's see. Yeah. Let's see, they go up and then they click in a different yeah. spot. So the first one you should be able to click yeah, up yeah, they crisscross and then you got the rubber thing. <laughs> yeah. That's and a little rubber isolator. Sure they're not scratching anything. Okay. That's right. That's and, uh, right. Okay, the, okay, that's how they go. Okay, the small end. <laughs> here's the small end. Okay, one, two, three. So I'll start out with the middle. Yeah, and then, and then you want to keep on the minimal one. Let me see what the big end. If it'll hold like. it up. Just put it on that one. Don't, everybody always wants to crank them too much. So what? So too tight. Okay, okay. Here's the here's the big end. Oh no, that's a small end too. The big end. I don't know what they're talking about. It sounds interesting. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. That, yeah, the big end's definitely. That, bigger that than is the big end. end. Okay, so yeah, yeah, the girls like the big end of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially when it curves to the left. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it goes. That's the point. Little, yeah. Mine has a little thing dangling, so that's where that's. Oh, thanks. So which way is looser and which way is tighter? Break it out of here before it gets dirty. Well, when you get in there, you'll see which way you gotta pull it. Oh, okay. 